Alrighty, in today's video we're going to be creating a robust notification system that anyone can use and that anyone can set up as long as you have a Notion Plus account and you're able to configure these Notion automations. So we're just going to create a few databases to illustrate how we can do this. But because this will work for any database, and we're just going to set up some basic properties to show you how we can go and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these default tags. and. I'm going to show you three ways that we can go ahead and do this, just in case you have a preference with the properties that we use. So we're going to add a status a checkbox and a select property smaller. This is just to illustrate three different ways that we can go ahead and do this. Obviously, you don't need all three, but I'm going to add the relevant properties in the notification. And right now, I'm doing this to illustrate three different ways in which we can create this notification system, and we can do this through Notion Automations. So we can do this through new automation. When completeness is edited, we can add a page to notifications. Just title it that if we wanted to. And I think the most important part of this is assigning it to yourself so that when this is edited, a new page is created and you're tagged. So essentially what that does is if I do this, let's delete these real quick. If I do this, this comes up and notice that when I do when this when I am tagged as this person this update shows new notification so pretty handy that this update bar is immediately useful when you create that automation again we can do this with any three of those properties that we created and obviously it's doing the same thing running through the motions. So now when this is done, we'll also be notified via that status change. So if people work differently, this is a perfect example of diversifying the way that you might be able to cater to other people in your team or group. In this case, I just added a complete status and we can still work with that. So when status is complete, we're going to add that page to notifications. Obviously this is a little redundant, but this is just to illustrate how easy it is to do this. And so now we have three automations where if we do done, completeness, our mark is complete. Oops. We're going to have three of those entries. Notice I marked complete for two rows, and so now we have four instead of three and check out how these updates show. Notification, and the new notification. Another thing that we can add to this real quick is the relationship property, so that when we do create this notification, we can relate it back to what we're referring to, so that it's not just a notification, obviously. So the way we can go ahead and do that is you can edit another property, add that relation we just connected, and we can mark it as this page. And save that. So now when you click on done, see what happens. So now when we when the trigger happens, it relates back via the notification what you're notified about. Now if we click on this, it tells you which relation or which database that we're referring to. And the reason why I'm using notifications in any database is because you can add any of these properties to any database and then create a notification database like the way I did here so that when something gets marked as complete, done, finished, we can immediately notify you of those updates. Um, and the reason why I'm showing you this is because if you're a manager working with other people, you don't want anything to slip through the cracks. You want to be notified for everything that gets finished or completed or marked. For example, you're going to get notified via the update section here with the page and the tag, and then you're able to immediately click on it without having to find it, right? Whether it's tickets, whether it's a business, whether it's for personal use, or whether it's for an assignment or homework assignment, this very simple notion automation that triggers and to create a new page when it does to sort of signify that someone else needs to see this, I think can be incredibly useful. The one thing I will say is when you do select a person, you can only select manually via a person. And so that'll be really important to configure it in a way so that when you are notified, only the right people are notified. There you have it, folks. Um, this is a very robust notification system in which you can use the person property, the relation property, 
in any three of these properties as a trigger to set up a robust notification system using Notion automations. It gets better once we're able to take advantage of this updates sidebar menu and quickly see why we're being tagged and how we're being tagged. So thanks for watching.